All right, so you just watched the video of your awesome math team racing down the hallway, and do not try that at home. But that brings us to ordering decimal numbers. Um, so we're going to look at the four decimal numbers we have in front of us, and we're going to imagine that that was the, the four people that were racing. And I know in our video we had more than that, but for today we're going to look at just four numbers. So on top here you see that we have a place value chart. And so the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your different numbers, your different values, and you want to put them in their, in a place value chart, lining up all of your different place value positions. So we're going to start with the first one. And we are going to make sure that if my decimal is right here and that my 16 is a whole number, that that is going in front in both my 10's place and my 6 in the 1's place. And then to the right of the decimal, my 0 in the 10's and my 8 in the 100's. And I'm going to do that for each value. So I'm going to go down for the next one and my 16, which is the whole number, to the left of the decimal. My 3 in the 10's place to the right of the decimal. And you'll notice here that 16 and 8 hundredths has two digits to the right of the decimal, and my 16 and 3 tenths only has one number to the right of the decimal. And so what you may want to do here is add an invisible zero, um, because 16 and 3 tenths and 16 and 30 hundredths are equivalent, and that may help us whenever we're trying to put these numbers in order. Um, so let's go to the next one, 16 and 17 hundredths, still lining up all of my place value positions. And my last one you notice is just a whole number. So I am going to have my 16 to the left of the decimal, but you notice I don't have anything to the right. But just like we did with my 16 and 3 tenths, I could add two zeros in the decimal positions. Um, because 16 and 0 hundredths and 16 are equivalent. So let's go back and let's think about that race again for a minute. We want to put our numbers in order from fastest to slowest. And so if we're thinking about fast, if I had a really fast time, whoever came in first place, and I, if I remember correctly, that was Miss Hampton. Mrs. Hampton's number, because she was so fast, her time was the least number. So if we're going from fastest to slowest, then we are going from least to greatest. So this is really helpful, our place value chart, to now put these in order from least or fastest to greatest, which is the slowest. So if I'm looking at each place value position, you'll notice, starting to the far left, all of my ones and the tens, they're the same. So that does not really help us put these numbers in order. So I'm going to go over to the next place value position to the right. And now I'm looking at the six and the ones place. And again, you notice they are all the same. So I'm going to go over one more place. Now I'm looking at my decimal places. My tenths place, I notice I have a zero, a three, a one, and a zero. And so this is a very close race. If I'm talking about being fast and my least number, my very top number, 16 and 8 hundredths, and 16 and 0 hundredths, they both have a 0 in the tenths place. So I actually am looking at just this number and this number to determine which one is the least. And so I need to then look at my hundredths place. My, I have an 8 with this number in the hundredths place versus a 0 and this number in the hundredths place. And so since 0 is less than 8, I have identified my least value. And so my least value is going to be the 16 and 0 hundredths, or 16. 
So if I was recording these and putting these in order from least to greatest, I would start with what I just identified as being the least, the fastest time, which is 16. And I have identified my second fastest, the next least, as 16 and 8 hundredths. All right, so now we need to keep going and look for third place. And so I'm going to go back and look at these two middle values. So I have 16. Remember, to the left of the decimal, they were both the same. So I'm going to look at my tenths place. I have a 3 and I have a 1. Well, I know 1 is less than 3, so this has helped me identify that 16 and 17 hundredths would be in third, in third place or third least. So 16 and 17 hundredths. And by default, we know that the greatest or the slowest time was the 16 and 3 tenths or 16 and 30 hundredths because the 3 in the tenths place is the greatest value of all of the tenths place. So that would be my, unfortunately, last place of that race. And so that is how we could order, use a place value chart to put numbers in order from least to greatest or fastest to slow. Yeah. Get that? So now it's your turn. Look at these four different times. These were, are the times from our video from Ms. Hampton, Mr. Anderson, Ms. Malfres, and Ms. Cates, our top four people in our race. And it's your turn to put these in order from fastest, remember what we talked about with fastest, to slowest. So do this on the left side of your interactive notebook. 